So runners are on their way out now. Commission leads them out for uh, Ray Haness preparing. Currently at $15. Dropping distance gets the good alley as well and does generally show a bit of early speed. 260 about wheel and go. He'll be looking to track that move in the early part of Delmo Bale 380 as they hit box bound. Race 12 during 90 seconds. At the start now. Last event, 260 about wheel and go. Arriving at the start now, race number 12, 260 about wheel and go. This is the favourite in box two for Tim Britton. $4. 80 now, quick smart, 380 at Delmo Bale. At the start now, they're about to get ready to load. So 260 now for wheel and go. Beaten by Jack Pochone here last time over the 600. Jack Pochone worked hard to win at Bendigo yesterday in about 2780, so that form line very strong. This The uh, sports bet, bet with mates to round out the night. And they're about to move in. So they're about to load now, race 12, the box draw for the big one, the Group 1 Australian Cup to be conducted on track after the last. If you want to get a hold of that and watch that live stream, it will be done through the Meadows social media pages. So go to those, the MGRA, and you'll be able to keep up to date with that box draw following this last race. The draw has been conducted as well for the uh, Fanta Bale Superstayers and that field is now out. So looking forward to next week after what has been an unbelievable night of racing. Unmissable is the word they're using here and you can see why it had it all tonight. So many great results. A couple of the big guns going down. The consolation could be a ripper next week. We'll see what plays out there. So back for night number three next Saturday night. They're set to run now. Green light in the lucky last. About to run. Set. Racing now, Commission out well from the inside, is going to muscle through and lead Dirt Farmer who was away quickly, Wheel and Go gets up over heels behind them but Dirt Farmer's going to lead, out by two lengths now over Commission who told Mal and then Wheel and Go fourth, now dropping back to the rail, trying to make some ground but just getting squeezed up by who told Mal and there was no run there, check badly, then Nalani Bell, quick smart Adelmo Bale and last Pierre Bale but Dirt Farmer with the drop in distance accelerated for home, clear over Commission, it is all Dirt Farmer, that was a big time win, Dirt Farmer by five lengths over commission. Third Nalani Bale. Forget about the run of wheel and go. Just no luck at all at the vital stage. Then quick smart Adelmo Bale. Hoots Alt Mellon Pierre Bale. The run is very good. 29.89. So 29.89 the run. And a dirt farmer for Tim Britton. The speed to come straight across and take the lead. Was in front early. Commission's whacked away well for second. They've gone good on the clock too. 29.89. It's quicker than a few of the heats of the Oz Cup. So that uh, puts that into perspective. Dirt Farmer, number four first, comes back to the uh, the 500 metres. He had raced well here over this journey before getting up to 600 metres. And tonight, he's got the job done first, dropped back in distance for some time. He won over the 680 two starts ago. So it's uh, a real show of versatility there for Dirt Farmer. Fernando Bale, tears I am the... Uh, the line that just keeps on giving, doesn't it? Uh, Tears I am cross Fernando Bale. I think they've done that four times now and success every time. Commission second, Fernando Bale, Old Tiffy, raced by N. Johnston for Ray Haness and Alani Bale third, daughter of Konomi, Lila Bale, Rob Camilleri at Laris. So the numbers confirmed 4172, 2989 the gallop. And we'll have a quick look for Tote Divvies on the last. And the winner, Dirt Farmer, should pay $6.30. And at $2.10, I'm not too sure if these are updated odds, uh, 6.30 and 2.10, they should pay. Uh, we might be getting one last update here. So 6.30 and 2.10, commission second 2.10, and Nalani Bale with...